Hey, welcome to Monday Mashup. It's John McNeil and Chris Seeley. Chris is a special guest today. We are so glad to have him and hopefully you'll be seeing more of him on these Monday Mashups as we continue on. Uh, we're going to kick it off this morning like we usually do with a quick recap of our Sunday sermon. Chris Brandt brought us another really great message this past Sunday. We talked a lot about the fruit of the Spirit, right? Yeah. Patience. Okay. Forbearance. Long suffering. Long suffering is what he told us that all those words actually mean. Um, and there was some scripture that went along with that. The one that stuck out to me that, and he mentioned people do this all the time. I do this all the time during trials. I think about James 1, and it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials. And Chris pointed out, it doesn't say if you face trials, it says when you face trials. You know, if you've been here, that we've been dealing with some trials lately. Um, and, and we just know those things are coming, and we are working through those. Was there a scripture that stuck out to you this past uh, Sunday? Yeah, it was in James chapter, or no, First Peter. Uh, Do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come upon you as, it is, as if it is a strange ordeal. Uh, yeah, these trials, these fiery ordeals are going to come, but we have to pursue Jesus through them. Yeah, it was funny. I remember Chris, like, in that moment, he was like, I can just see Peter being like, you're surprised? <laughs> like, really? And I think Peter probably did that, too. Um, we got a couple things I want to share with you beyond the sermon. If you want to go back and watch the sermon, you can just click the digital newsletter button below, and it'll take you straight to that. Um, there's a couple of events coming up, a couple of things we do on a reoccurring basis. The first of those that we're going to talk about this morning is Dollar Difference Sunday. This is coming up next week. It is a holiday weekend, 4th of July weekend actually. We hope that you'll spend your Sunday morning here with us. On that Sunday we do a special collection for Dollar Difference. We've been doing this all year. Those funds are utilized for some local community mission stuff. So. Families that are in need, families that are experiencing hardship because of medical issues or they're just not able to come up with the money for different things. Um, it just, it's just an opportunity for us to pour into them as a church. So we ask that you bring $1 for each member of your family. Put that into our giving box. We will collect those at the end of service and we give that right back to a member of our community. Um, we've given away several thousand dollars this year and it's been making a big impact on our community. So let me encourage you to keep doing that. It's been awesome. And then July 9th, we have God and Games coming up. So we're going to have games, worship, going to have a great time. It's going to be from 7 to 9, and it's for middle school and high school all together. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. Uh, hope you'll join us. It's probably going to be a hot one, so bring your water Yeah, and your portable AC. Wait. Uh, we'll keep running through it. Camps. Camps is a big thing in the summer, as we know. We got a couple camps that are happening right now, actually, today. Anthony, our youth minister, is out at High Hill with middle schoolers, I think. God yep. bless Anthony and those middle schoolers. We <laughs> ask that while they're gone, you be in prayer for them, that they would just experience it, experience God in a special way, and that he would be moving inside of them. There's another big camp coming up. Do you know what it is? Um, uh, I feel like we've been there before. Really? NYR. NYR, yes. NYR in Colorado, Sedalia, Colorado is coming up. It's like the pinnacle, the highlight of the year for me. It's, uh, I think I would say it's a mountaintop experience. A mountaintop experience. He's got the jokes, friends. Right. We, we just want you guys to know about that. It's coming up. Um, if you are a high schooler or going into high school, this is such an incredible experience. We encourage you so much to sign up. If you have questions, you can ask one of us. We're both going. You can reach out to Anthony Stevens, our youth minister, and ask questions. Uh, but more than anything, we would just love for you to join us. And so check it out in the app. Check it out below in our digital newsletter if you have questions. I think we have like 25 people signed up right now, maybe 26 so far. And it, we're totally open to bringing as many people as want to come. I've been a ton of times. I've seen lives change. I watch people get baptized every year. It's an amazing experience. Yeah, we hope you, that you will join us there. Uh, I want to give you a heads up. Uh, about two weeks from now on July 9th, we have another food truck Sunday here at church after service. There'll be a couple food trucks out in the parking lot. Bring your lawn chairs, stick around, hang out with some friends, enjoy some good food and just fellowship. Uh, we've got Delia's or Delia's, I'm not sure the pronunciation on that. You might know or you might know. Um, and then also Como Food and Fire. That was that um, pizza truck. I don't know if you've seen it. 
Okay. But they bring in like a pizza grill, um, uh, a fire oven thing. It's awesome. And cook pizzas right there in the parking lot. And they're super good. My kids love those last time they were here. So that's July 9th. Um, after first service and second service, they'll be here and available um, for some yummy eats. And don't forget, we have Family Summer Blowout coming out. Dun, dun, dun. It's going to be August 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Yes. Uh, we're going to start it off like we have in the past with our big block party. Then we're going to have three days of learning, teaching, and uh, games, group game activities. Um, make sure to sign up on the app or at rff.church uh, so that we can be prepared. We know how many people are going to be there and we can get stuff ready for you guys. Yeah, and one of the things that we're going to be getting ready is dinner. So it helps to know how many people are coming. We're going to feed you all while you're here, right? It's right during dinner time, basically. Yeah. You come straight from work to here with your kiddos and uh, we're going to start out with a dinner. So it'll be helpful to know how many of you will be here. Uh, tonight, I'm sorry, not tonight, this week is what I meant. On Wednesday, we have another prayer meeting scheduled. This is the third one uh, that Chris Brandt has called. It is at 6.30 p.m. in the Worship Center. These have been really well attended so far. Yeah. Uh, they're really uplifting, and what a great thing to do uh, to be together in prayer about Rocky Fork and where we're going um, in the future. And then July 21st from 5.15 to 7.15, we have our second swim night of the year. Yes. It's Western theme. Get your cowboy hats on, put your spurs on your Crocs, and come see us there. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I cannot wait for that. Uh, dinner and fun is provided too. So And free. totally free. free. Bring a friend. Uh, or 12. Or 12, yeah. There's going to be splash contests and games and all kinds of things. So um, that's all we have for this uh, rendition of the Monday mashup. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you enjoyed our special guest, Mr. Chris Seeley. And we will see you next Monday on Monday mashup. See you guys. Thanks.